Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to the news, 19th of May 2020. So, from AJ, our very own AJ, sure you are aware, but it seems ED added some new features you flagged in the past. One is Hornet How now has option for loud afterburner sounds like an F15. And the second point, something slightly separate, but also viewer feedback is going well. So, two things we want to look at first. Is a really big one for me. So I've done detailed reviews of all of the modules in DCS, and one of my main complaints is the sound model for, for a lot of these planes. For instance, the sound model for the interior of the FA-18C, I hate because it's too realistic. It just gives a big monotone all the time. So I'm, you know, they've obviously sampled it out of a real Hornet, and you can't hear what the engine's doing, you can't hear when the afterburner's going on, which is great if you have to have your absolute realism, but it makes you a crap pilot because you don't get the feedback that you require. So what I always say is a real pilot relies on his bottom to know what the plane is doing, to know what G's he's pulling, to know what uh, throttle setting he's got, you know, how much push there is in the plane and so on. Driven by feel, even the most modern of modern planes, an F-22 Raptor, he uses his sensors to lock onto targets and fire, but he actually flies the plane still by the feel and we can never simulate that in DCS so we need other ways around it we need the visual and the sound engine to make up for that and one of those things is I always say you've got to be able to hear what the engine's doing especially when the afterburner's on because we rely on that even if it's unrealistic yes I'm aware that in a real horn you cannot hear when the afterburner's on with your ears but this is a requirement for a virtual pilot to be able to fly the plane properly and hey presto they've gone and done it and it's just there's nothing more satisfying than life to complaining like this it took a while it took a lot of complaints but the feature is now in there so the first thing we're going to do is check out the Hornet and I believe this is going to be the same with all aircraft or it certainly is at least a work in progress but let's go and check out the Hornet because that was my worst one it had just the most evil interior sounds with no engine feedback at all okay so we're in our Hornet now we're going to go to options and we're in audio here so as default we've got that ticked off loud cockpit afterburner sound off and this is the normal hornet i'm going to turn the sounds up a bit more than usual but this is normal hornet terrible as it sounds off we go boring whoops should have set rudder pedals up maybe boring 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 power engines off boring engines on boring no dynamics in the sound at all. Realistic, but boring. So let's go and try again. Loud cockpit afterburner sound. Set your faces to stun. Power on. Wait for the spool. There it is. There it is. That big bone crunching afterburner. Now it's a cool plane. Now I'm going to start flying the goddamn thing. They made it less nerdy and more cool. Off power. Oops. Ignore the tail strike. Power, power on. Cool, massive burner. I can hear when the burner's going. Off. On. Off. Look at that. How to fix one video game. Kind regards, Supercat. Look, it can even write itself out of a spin now. It's so freaking cool with its new afterburner sounds. Nothing happened. The next thing I want to talk about is viewer feedback. So I did this video discussion. Are you struggling with how to get into DCS? How can we help? Got 14,000 people viewing it and loads of comments, proper comments, big fat comments like this. 809 comments. All of these need reading through, analyzing, putting into data and then sending back to ED. That's a massive job, as you can imagine. To lack of a better word, data rise this. We've got to turn people's feelings and thoughts into data to be studied on pie charts and things like that. And that's what we've done. I have to give the shout out to my beautiful boys that have done this. You can see them there. Apart from me, I haven't actually done anything with this apart from the original video. They have come up with some awesome stuff. This is work in progress, but this is where we are at the moment. What we've got is the original data here, which is automatically brought through from the video. So all of your comments here, 809 so far. And then it is summarized in here. And this is a very top down, simplified, summary but it just shows here these are the amount of people of those 809 that are reporting problems with these different things in DCS 
and subcategories and then we've got sub subcategories and other stuff as well take note that some people may have reported obviously more than one problem so this will probably add up to more than 809 then it goes into our report which is here and this is work in progress again but this is a reporting package to send back to ed to report all of your problems examples of what people are saying present it in a you know ceo friendly fashion so we send it back to them say this is why people are struggling this is where the data come from we've got 108 809 responses more than we could ever want basically and what are you going to do about it basically something along those lines so massive thanks to my boys for sorting this out you guys for taking the time to report and they're all good and they're all serious we've got no spam like we usually do so i'm really chuffed with that like i said work in progress and i'll update this when the final product is ready i hope you enjoyed that and see you later